Now, there are many different options here. Um, while that's chugging through, I'll go through, through this. There's different tracking um, options in the points itself. There's tracking mode, direction, blurring, enhanced tracking. Um, since this is just a basic tutorial, uh, we'll be going through only a few of these options once the time arises. Um, so don't get overwhelmed by all these different options. Okay, next. Let's go through our timeline. Still red. So let's get another point. Now we're going to go to the, this other side here. So we're going to track. Let's click don't center. We're now going to track this window here. Let's go to the beginning here and let's track this again. Let that munch through. So it's a really good. Um, Workflow to uh, control, click to your points, adjusting the shake, clicking track, getting the hang of that sort of uh, rinse and repeating method. Okay, now I'm going to get another point. So that's somewhere in the middle here. So this one brings a lot of good depth. So let's get the corner of this one here. I will supply this footage, obviously. And I can see some parallax happening. Over here also, so we're going to track this. Okay, and uh, now we are also going to track one of these stumps here just to get some nice depth captured. Uh, so one new option we're going to do, um, since this is pretty, maybe pretty hard to keep up with. In the uh, options of the point, which automatically comes up here, we're going to click on Enhanced Tracking. Now, Enhanced Tracking is pretty much self-explanatory. It does a much more enhanced track. However, it is a lot more slower, so make sure that um, you have the uh, correct time since uh, it pretty much doubles the time, given that it looks for a lot more um, samples, uh, samples to, um, to track. 